हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर् चानल दिस इज गुंटूर मेडिकल कॉलेज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अनाटमी इन दिस डिसेक्शन वीडियो सो वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ सी द एक्सिला बउंड्रीज एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स सो नाउ दिस इज द पेक्ट्रल रीजन द स्किन हेज़ बीन रिमूव यू आर सींग दिस इज द पेक्ट्रल इज मेजर मजल विच इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक फ्रॉम द स्टर्नल आरिजिन एंड फ्रॉम द क्लाविकुलर आरिजिन इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम मीडियल टू लैट्रल The next muscle, are you seeing? This is the pectoralis minor muscles, which takes origin from the ribs, and it is inserted to the coracoid process. That muscle is also reflected to show the axilla. So the, now we have, uh, we are in the axilla. To understand its boundaries, I will explain. So what here? This is the apex of the axilla. Are you seeing? This is the apex of the axilla, in front bounded by the clavicle. and medially by the first rib and behind by the scapula so this is the cervical axillary canal through which the contents of the axilla pass from the neck to the front of the arm so that is the apex and here this is the base of the axilla which is the axillary fascia is removed along with the skin so this is the base of the axilla what i have reflected this pectoral is minor and this pectoral is major it will form the anterior wall of the axilla and anterior axillary fold is formed by this pectoralis major so that is the anterior wall of axilla then you are seeing this muscle this is the serratus anterior so this serratus anterior forms the medial wall of the axilla and lateral wall of the axilla is the humerus so this is anterior wall we have seen apex we have seen base we have seen medial wall lateral wall only posterior wall is not uh, shown clearly in this video the posterior wall is this muscles attached to the scapula that is subscapular so are you saying this is subscapular is muscle so that is the posterior wall so this is about the boundaries of the axilla now the contents of the axilla i will show you this is the axillary artery and this is the vein and these are the cards of brachial plexus first we have to learn this this axillary artery is divided into three parts by the pectoralis minor first part is proximal to the muscle second part is beneath the muscle and third part of the axillary artery are you seeing this is the third part of the axillary artery distal to the muscle so these are the three parts of the axillary artery if you see the relations of the axillary artery i will show entire axillary artery entire axillary artery axillary vein is medial so this is the axillary vein medial entire axillary artery we can tell If you see the first part of axillary artery, so this is the first part of axillary artery. Are you seeing the two cards? Yes. These are the two cards, lateral and posterior cards. They are lateral to the first part, lateral card and posterior card. And medial card is posterior. Are you seeing? This is the medial card. This medial card is posterior. Lateral card and posterior cards are lateral. So that is the relation of first part of axillary artery. so this is the second part so anteriorly is the pectoral is minor muscle lateral card is lateral medial card is medial and posterior card is posterior so that is the second part of axillary artery now third part i am saying this is the third part of axillary artery third part of axillary artery lateral relation is this musculo cutaneous nerve this lateral root of median nerve these two are the branches of the lateral part this medial root of median is yes, this is the medial root of median nerve from the medial cord crosses in front of the third part of axillary artery to join the lateral root to form the median nerve so this is the median nerve so these two are now lateral to the third part of axillary artery have you understood this is third part musculo cutaneous nerve and median nerve these are the lateral relations anterior relation is this medial root crossing the third part that is the anterior relation medial relation is this is third part of axillary artery this is axillary vein in between the vein and artery two nerves are present this is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and this is the ulnar nerve so these two nerves are in in between the artery and the vein one another nerve which is medial to the vein is this is the medial cutaneous nerve of arm so we have seen lateral relation anterior relation medial relation posterior relations of the third part of the axillary artery so this is the two nerves are you seeing 
two nerves are posterior to the third part of the axillary artery this axillary nerve is leaving like this so this is the axillary nerve and this is the radial nerve so third part of axillary artery two nerves axillary nerve and radial nerve laterally two nerves musculocutaneous nerve and median nerve medially two nerves medial cutaneous nerve forearm and ulnar nerve anteriorly this root crossing so that is the very important relations of the axillary artery so in this video i have covered the boundaries of the axilla contents of the axilla axillary artery and its relations in detail for other theory uh, purpose of this axillary artery and brachial plexus we have uh, two other videos in our channel go through it i hope you should have understood this important topic axillary artery we will see in the next video thank you